Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss the continuity of a function uh, on closed intervals and open intervals. So the first thing is you have to discuss whether a function f of x is continuous on a closed interval. If the function is continuous on the open interval, and if the function uh, form from right at the point A is continuous, and the function is continuous from left at B, that is B from negative side. So if you look at this graph, uh, we can see that it, if you're talking about close interval 1 and 3, between close in, in, in the close interval 1 and 3, 2 is a point where the function is not defined. Or you can see that the left hand limit and the right hand limit are not the same. So this is one of the condition that fails. So this function is not continuous in closed interval one and three. And the same goes for open interval from between one and three. Two is the point at which the function is not continuous. So the function is not continuous in the open interval one and three. So on the second interval is closed interval one and two. If you talk about one and two, again, from the left hand side, of the last endpoint. So if you have here the endpoint is uh, 1 and 2. So we look from the negative side, from the left side of 2 is not the same as if we put the value of 2 in the function. So here the function f at 2 is not defined, so the function is not continuous. The left hand side limit is not equal to the function at 2, so this is not continuous. Now if we talk about the open interval 1 and 2, in the open interval we don't use 1 and don't use 2. So in the middle you can see that the function is uh, continuous. Similarly, for the closed interval 2 and 3, if we talk about the 2 and 3, this is the graph. So 2 is included, 3 is included, we can see that the function is continuous from 2 to 3. And in the open interval again, 2 to 3, even if 2 and 2, 3 are not included, the function is continuous. Uh, let's go to the second one. In the same, in this graph, we have the same interval, 1 and 3, closed interval. Again, 2 is not defined. So we can say that this is not continuous. In the open interval, again, if we don't consider 1 and 3, in the open interval, again, 2 is not defined. So this is not continuous. Uh, the third point is the third interval is 1 and 2, closed interval. So about closed interval from the definition, the limit from left at 2 is not equal to the limit, the function at 2. So this is not continuous. Or you can say that f of 2 is not defined. Um, the third one is open interval. So we are not this, we are not containing, we, the, the interval 1 and 2, open interval, does not contain 1 and 2. So in, the, in between 1 and 2, the function is continuous. Similarly, from E, the closed interval 2 and 3, we have to look at 2 from the positive side from here, and it should be equals to the function at 2. But the function at 2 is not defined, so this is not continuous in the closed interval 2 and 3. But in the open interval, because 2 and 3 are not included, the rest of the function is continuous. If you look at the third, graph, we can, in the closed interval 1 and 3, the function is not defined at 1 and the function is not defined at 3. So we can say that this is the condition which fails to satisfy the continuity, so the function is not continuous. The second is open interval, so 1 and 3 are not included. So you can see that the function is defined in the open interval 1 and 3. The next closed interval is 1 and 2. So if we discuss 1 and 2, the closed interval, we can see that one f of one is not defined, or the function is not defined in, at f of one. So the function is not continuous. The fourth one is open interval, so one and two are not included. So obviously you can see the function is defined uh, and continuous. In the closed interval two and three, if we talk about two and three, the function is again not defined at three. So function is not continuous. And in the open interval 2 and 3, 2 and 3 are not included, so the function is 
defined and continuous. The last uh, sketch or graph of a function shows that the function, if we talk about the closed interval 1 and 3, the function is not defined at 3. So the function is not continuous in, on at the closed interval 1 and 3. But in the open interval, 1 is not included and 3 is not included. The rest of the function is defined and thus continuous. In the closed interval 1 and 2, we can see that the function is continuous. And in the open interval 1 and 2, again, the function is continuous. In the, op the closed interval 2 and 3, again, we can see that at 3, the function is not defined. And if we talk about the open interval 2 and 3, 2 and 3 are not included. So we can see that the function is continuous. In question number 5, you are given two functions, two piecewise functions, f of x and g of x. <coughs> And they're asking you that whether these functions are continuous at x is equal to 4 or not. So first it says that is f of x continuous? The answer to this is no. Why is it not? Because if you apply the limit, the limiting value is 1. So if you apply the limit at x approaches to 4, f of x, we use this one, gives just 1. And this is not equal to the value of function at x is equal to 4, which is minus 1. So the limit exists is 1, and the function is defined at 4, which is minus 1, but those two values are not same, so it's not continuous. At x equals to 4, then they're asking you to find out whether the g of x is continuous at x equals to 4 or not. So again, we can see that if you apply the limiting value from here, f of x, uh, sorry, that should be g of x, this is the value function that we use and then when you put the x is equal to 4 we get 6 but the function is defined at x is equal to 4 and the value is minus 6 so 6 and minus 6 are not equal so function is not continuous at x is equal to 4 now they're asking you that minus times g of x so if you multiply this by minus times this becomes minus 4x plus 10x and this becomes plus 6 so the limiting value of this one gives us minus 6 and the function is defined at 4 and the value at minus gx is plus 6. So again they are not equal so the function is not continuous at x is equal to 4. Now they are asking you for an absolute value of f of x which means this is positive and this is positive. So the limiting value of x mod x or absolute x is 1 and the function at x is equal to not one sorry x is equal to 4 is also is minus 1 but if you take the absolute value that gives us 1 so they are both the same so the function is continuous at x is equal to 4. Now the product of f and g if you multiply the product of these if you find the product of these two this gives us 4x minus 10 and minus times minus gives us plus 6 when x is equal to 4. So if you apply the limit x approaches to 0 at fg we get this thing and if you put the value of 4 here this is 16 minus 10 gives us 6 and the function at 4 the value is 6 so they are both the same it means the function is continuous at x is equals to 4 okay the function g of f of x so what we do is, is replace x with an f of x this is the function that we get we don't have any function that gives us we don't have f of x that gives us x is equal to 4 so the function is not continuous at any at uh, x is equal to 4 so the function is not defined at x is equal to 4 and the next one is g of x minus 6 times f of x so g of x minus 6 of x So we have to find out g of x minus 6 times f of x. So this is 6 times uh, minus 6 times minus 6. And if you add it with this one, we get 4x minus 16. And if you multiply this with a minus 6 and add it with this one, gives us 0. We can see that if you apply the limit, x approaches to 4 to this function. So we have this one. If you put 4 over here, this gives us 16 minus 16 gives us 0. 
and the function is defined at x is equal to 4 and the value here is 0 so they're both the same so the function is continuous at x is equal to 4. In a similar fashion uh, you can apply the same uh, rules on question number 6 and solve the problems. Thank you.